Well, carotid stenting is a minimally invasive procedure that can be done under local anesthesia where you access through a small puncture in the groin artery and then take a catheter up into the main blood vessel just above the heart. X-ray contrast material is then injected into the thoracic aorta, allowing us to visualize the takeoff of the major vessels going up to the arms as well as to the brain. We'll then be able to selectively catheterize the arteries going to the brain uh, and be able to get images that show where the arteries may be blocked. With that, we'll, be, we'll put a sheath into the arteries going up to the brain uh, and then put a special filter device that will go through the area of stenosis uh, and then open like an umbrella above the area of the carotid stenosis. That will protect any of the material from the plaque itself from breaking free during the time of the angioplasty and the subsequent stenting uh, and catch it before it goes to the brain and causes a stroke. And obviously the procedure is meant to decrease the chances of the patient having a stroke. So once the filter is in place, we will then come in with a small balloon, slightly dilate the artery open uh, at the area of blockage, and then put a special stent across that area, uh, which will help hold the, the atheromatous debris, the plaque, uh, in place as we dilate it up to a normal sized lumen again. Similar as an angioplasty that you have in the heart or the kidney arteries or even in the leg. Once we have completely opened the artery back up, uh, we'll come back and retrieve the filter, remove it, and check make sure that there's no sign of embolization to the brain, and remove the catheter. Again, this is all done under local anesthesia, uh, and they generally can go home the next day.